Today we're going to look at Log V3 versus Log V2. I took my 12 Pro Max out and shot some good comparison video that I think will show the benefits of shooting 10-bit versus 8-bit. Again, I used my 12 Pro Max and a four-stop ND filter. After the sample footage, I dive into Premiere Pro to show some post-production benefits to shooting 10-bit video.
All right, just wanted to quickly look at how these compare in a more detailed fashion. And so this is the log. And what I'm doing is I'm using a false color LUT and I've modified it to where you can see the gradient in the sky. And so using it this way, I'll really be able to show the difference that 10-bit makes, in particular in skies and banding. That's just one aspect, but this is one that you can really visually see. And so this is the 10-bit log V3, and this is no color correction on it. That's with the LUT off, and that's with the LUT on. And then here is log V3 graded. Now, if you look up here in the sky here, but where the green and the blue come together, it has a very nice smooth gradient. And again, that is the color graded version of log V3. There's the uncolor graded and there's the graded. And so now here is log V2. So log V2, this is the ungraded. This is just straight out of the camera you can already see it's more subtle right here in the ungraded, but if you look here at the bottom of where the green starts touching the blue, or up here at the top in particular, you can start seeing some banding. And again, this is the ungraded. So when you grade it down, you really see what's going on. You can just see banding, especially up here at the top, but even down here, it goes from this blue to purplish kind of color. That is the false color LUT doing some work there, but what it's demonstrating is the banding in the sky. When you just look at it as a freeze frame here, you don't really see it. You can see it a little bit if you analyze it closely. And so where this really becomes important is if you're doing heavier grading in post. And again, this is a very light color grade. This is more or less a correction with a little bit of grading going on. So not much has been done to this image, truth be told. There's the original, there's the grade, and then there is the LUT showing how much banding there is in the sky. And this one is actually okay. It's not horrible. I mean, this is again, 8-bit video and that's what 8-bit video does. But Filmic Pro Log V2 does a pretty good job compared to other 8-bit video I've used. The way they created that, it actually does a pretty good job. But of course, not nearly as smooth and nice as 10-bit. The way the colors work in log V3 versus log V2 are just different. Not just because of the 10 bit, but also because of the way they created the log. And so here's a side by side. Again, this is the log uncorrected. And in this shot, you can see the difference. Again, it's not as noticeable when you're in the original log, but you jump into the graded version side by side. Just look at the banding in the sky there. And then over here, it's nice. It's a really nice smooth gradient in the 10-bit log V3. And then one other quick example. This is the shot of the sun using the ultra wide lens. This is log V3. Looks very nice and smooth in the sky. Now this is the same shot color graded. Still have nice smooth gradations around the sun and up here around the trees, even up here into the wider aspect where there's a little bit of a vignette going on. Now here's log V2, and while this looks good, again, this is the log. Let me turn the LUT off. So that's the log, no grading whatsoever. And it looks pretty good, it looks pretty good. Nice smooth gradations for 8-bit video, for sure. You turn it on though, you can start seeing right here at the top of the trees, you can just see this little bit of banding going on. And then when you put the grade on, it really is noticeable, majorly noticeable. That sky on the right side, you can just see all the banding. And again, this is a pretty mild grade. Let me turn that false color LUT off. So even with the false color LUT off, you can see that in the sky right there. And then side by side comparison. This is the log of each one. 10 bit, nice and smooth over here. 8 bit, pretty smooth, although you can see a little bit right here. Go to the graded and it's very noticeable. 10 bit on the left, 8 bit on the right. Major banding in the sky. And without that false color LED on, you can still see it. Not as noticeable, but you can see just these little waves here. Hopefully you can see that on YouTube. YouTube obviously does heavy compression. 
but I think this is a good way to demonstrate one of the benefits of using 10-bit video. Overall, shooting 10-bit video is really the way to go if your device supports it, but there are a couple negatives, and they're more practical negatives than technical negatives. The first one is the file sizes are bigger, and so that can eat up more space on your phone and ultimately your hard drive. And the reason for that is that the bit rate is higher. And so what this can cause is sluggish playback in your editing app. In Premiere Pro, it does okay, but it does chug along sometimes depending on the shot. So depending on your project, you can decide whether 10-bit is worth it or you can stick with 8-bit. But if I have a 12 series iPhone or a supported Android, I'm shooting 10-bit video all day long. For those interested, the LUTs used in this video are available on my website. That's at iPhoneographers.tv. I've got LUTs for Log V2 and Log V3 with more in the works. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.